Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial in camera and lens repair. And this time I will take my old uh, Olympus 35 RD and uh, show how you actually can adjust the vertical alignment and also the infinity. It's not that complicated, I mean not that complicated. <laughs> uh, but of course we need to know something and of course we need some tools uh, we need two flathead screwdrivers with one will be 1.8 millimeter and the other one will be 1.2 in this case and we also need a homemade tool uh, maybe you have one of those uh, this is a stamp counter i think it counts the line it's called in english I think uh, and I've taken a focusing screen from an old camera SLR camera and it makes it possible to actually see the 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 picture I actually want to focusing on if I set my focusing to for example one meter which is actually based on the, the distance in this video um, and then open the film back and have a look where to actually put this little tool one could also set a, a piece of uh, tape uh, the matte, matte tape here on the back uh, and then use a um, yeah a loop <laughs> something uh, yeah just like this tool simply put it on here and then we have the correct distance to the film plane and we can actually th see through the lens with this one uh, one thing i have to do is actually open the shutter so it stays open now i have already taken the camera apart uh, just to make it easier um, and then set I mean wind the shutter and I mean cock the shutter and then press the shutter button down it would be this one but uh, of course I need to have the top cover open open just to show the two things I mean you do not need to take off the, the top cover to just uh, adjust in the um, vertical alignment because it can be done it can be done when you take off the part of the accessory shoes uh, screw and uh, I mean you have to take all four out and then there is a gap in here which you can see here and then you can just uh, put your 1.2 millimeter through the hole and down to adjust the vertical alignment yeah but what about the the um, infinity well you need another screw which is down here uh, actually here that needs to when set the focusing ring to something that you already have measured the distance to you can simply adjust the uh, the distance correct when uh, looking to the viewfinder so <clears throat> what I actually will show in this case is actually um, how we can adjust it. Well, let's say the shutter is fully open. I already have adjusted the distance with the, with the magnifier and the focusing screen here. So I can just point the camera uh, and I will actually use a tripod like this and put it on um, and then simply use the the focusing uh, ring to set the distance then actually align the the um, vertical alignment which you will see in the in the next film uh, part why I do it um, and there will also be uh, sooner after that 
I will, um, yeah, let's just take the the uh, vertical alignment first. So simply turn the uh, if the <clears throat> if the two let's say the um, superimposed picture. Let's see if I can do something here. Well, if we have a, um, <laughs> I will show it anyway. But this is the correct focus. This is the superimposed. So if I want to uh, adjust the uh, vertical alignment, I simply turn the the uh, screw here clockwise. So the picture, the superimposed picture will come up to here as it should be <clears throat> when it's correct. If it, if it goes over, well, you just need to un uh, screw this counterclockwise. So simply take the picture down. But let's see how this actually uh, works in the uh, next film clip. Now let's see um, to actually um, adjust the vertical alignment, uh, which uh, you can see it's actually a lot off. Um, it should be the um, the bottom moving the moving part that should actually be in line with the with the yeah rigid uh, white line. And the center is, I mean, when I, if I set it to one meter, which I already had adjust the, uh, the test, uh, yeah, the test card. So I set it there and to actually adjust the rangefinder vertical part, uh, it should be this screw that actually moved the, the really small mirror here in, in, um, in an up and down position. So let's see if I actually turn the uh, the little set screw here, which is a longer screw that goes down to the the um, bottom part of the uh, adjustment part here. I will show it. This is the um, this is just a test of what's actually happened. So if I turn the screwdriver, which is uh, 1.2 millimeter flathead screwdriver and simply add it here and then we can actually look into the viewfinder uh, and at the same time and I when I turn the the little screw if it's possible to catch the, the gap here now if I turn it clockwise then you will see the mirror, I mean the uh, superimposed picture will actually move upwards. And there you can see it is actually, uh, yeah, it should be there, something like there. And if I turn the focusing ring, you can see the, the picture is actually where it should be. So if I set to one meter, it's simply spot on and uh, yeah that's actually that and then I will uh, actually show what's happened with the um, if I want to adjust the distance if it's not correct so let's say if the one meter is uh, yeah I set the distance to one meter but it's not correct. So I will, by using a 1.8 millimeter flathead screwdriver, simply down here and take care of the glass uh, element here to not scratch it. But if it's uh, uh, too far away or too close, one can turn the, the screw down here uh, counterclockwise or I mean <laughs> clockwise or counterclockwise just to have the correct focus and uh, 
that will also be shown in the next part. And if I, on the other hand, uh, want to adjust the, the correct distance, uh, I have already set it in here, in the, in the film plane, with the use of my little uh, stamp magnifier uh, mounted on a um, focusing screen which makes it much easier. Now if I turn the focusing ring and set it to something like well let's say 1.50 meter and then I said okay it should be it should be the correct focus uh, if it wasn't then it's this screw here down here that need to be adjusted and uh, if it's possible I will do it with a 1.8 millimeter screwdriver flathead and simply put it in take care of the glass element I know it's difficult to see but if I turn it you will probably see the the picture um, that will be out of alignment so if I turn it counterclockwise, it will be more correct focus. Uh, and of course, if I turn it the other direction, clockwise, um, it will, of course, I will move the, the uh, mirror part here. And then I can readjust it out of focus so it will be there. And then I could turn it until, yeah, one meter. It would be the exact same thing if we ended up at uh, at infinity. It will be the same. Then you have to turn this uh, this adjustment thing uh, to adjust up to infinity or uh, over infinity. And um, if you have when you have adjusted the vertical alignment it should be what it yeah should be correct so uh, it's not that hard we can just set it to correct one meter should be there as you can see it will move and so it is so that was a part of it And then, now we actually have a correct uh, set uh, distance. And if you, if you think the distance uh, to infinity is some very far away, could be in the moon or something, uh, then you have to adjust it in here. The vertical alignment is one thing and the distance is another thing. But uh, it should be quite easy. So uh, that was actually all for me. Bye bye.